Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of the band exercises as well uh, because I'm keen to make you get the most out of these exercises because they're really effective if they're done with a real, real bit of intention behind them. So, first thing I'm going to go over is the banded pull aparts, which is great for scat flow control okay, and also awareness of the shoulder position. So, the key to this one, there's a couple, we'll go through the rotator cuff one second. The first one, the banded pull aparts. In it, which really primarily focuses on the scapula. So what we want is arms have to be straight, okay, so not bend, it, bend elbows, straight arms, okay, and what that does, it just helps to ensure that the movement is coming from the area we're trying to work here, as opposed to if you bend your elbows, you'll bring in the biceps, uh, which isn't really, and also rear parts of this, part of the, the deltoid, which we're not trying to attack or work, so elbows straight, okay, that's really key, right? Um, another thing is, I'd probably go palms up um, as opposed to palms down. Not that palms down is incorrect, but palms up, it just encourages a bit of external rotation okay, of the shoulder, so you can even have your thumbs sort of point upwards, but palms up the way. So from here, okay, the goal is hold it at a tension that allows you to get a good range on it. Okay, So if you hold it right in here, right, it will be quite tight and you might feel you can't really pull it in further than here. So find a tension that allows for a good bit of muscle engagement when you're holding it at this sort of range here, okay? So, from the back, what you're looking for, as you pull it back, you should be aware of the shoulder blade area really working hard or contracting, like so, okay? What we're also looking for um, is asking to keep your shoulders back and down, okay? So again, that play, plays into all the other exercises. So if you, if, if you notice, it's kind of hard because this, this is a t-shirt, Right, but it, you can't. But if, if you don't have it, if you elevate your shoulders, it changes the exercise. You'll see that you, there's not as much movement through the shoulder blade there, where you can't see that, right? But like there. And what you do is you bring in the trap muscles, which are often overworked muscles anyway. So you try to keep these muscles out of it. So that's why the whole idea of shoulders back and down, okay? So we want arms straight. We also want to keep the tension. So what we don't want to see is pull apart and then in pull apart and so I want you to control the movement back in when you start to feel the tension leave the band which is about now don't keep going because obviously you're not doing it and you're just kind of easing it back in pull it back again okay so shoulders back and down release them here pull again release them here pull again okay so that is the sort of movement that we're that we're looking for. You can play around with it, you can keep the shoulders back down, you can go diagonal like that, ease it in, go the other way, and you'll just, it'll just hit that area around the shoulder blades and the rear shoulder, it'll just hit that area slightly differently, but it's really effective. You just need to be consciously aware that as you're doing that, you're not you're not in, you're not sort of like shrugging up the shoulders, which is easy, easy done, okay? And then the second one is the rotator cuff one, kind of similar in terms of what I want you to do is think about keeping the tension on the band. This time, elbows back and in. Okay, so again, you want to really isolate the rotator cuff right there. Then we want the elbows back and in for this one for that reason. Same idea though, I want you to pull it apart as far as you can, get a decent bit of rotation and then ease it back in. Don't just snap it back in, ease it back in. So hold it at the, the, the furthest points, obviously, the, the bit that your muscles have to work the hardest. So keep it there, release it as the tension releases, go back out. Like so, okay. So that's what we're looking for with that one. The same thing can be applied to many band walks, okay. So I would say pop the band below the knee, anywhere below the knee. And remember, the wider the stance eh, or the wider the feet position, the more tension there is in the band. If the more tension in the band, there's more tension around here, the glute area, which is where we're trying to work, okay. So a couple of things that I really want you to focus on with the mini bands. Feet point straight ahead, okay? Not out of the way, I want you to focus on keeping them straight ahead. So that we're really targeting the muscles right in here and we're not bringing in our default position that you might be more comfortable with, which ends up bringing in the muscles around here as well. So try and always have your feet straight ahead. I want you to focus on pulling the band to the side, like using these areas, okay? So really focus on this movement here. Try and consciously think about how is the band getting stretched, what's happening, well, how are you doing that, okay? The other thing I want to think about, have a slight hinge of the hip, just slightly, okay? Same idea as the other ones, 
At the furthest point, the most is the most resistance. I want you to then lift off and then fight against it, just snapping back. So common way people do these is, especially when the music's on, it's almost like dancing to the beat. Do this, right? <laughs> and they do all this sort of weird movement. And I get it. I totally understand why you're doing that. It's because it's quite fast paced. It's nice to be rhythm to it, especially if Michael Jackson's on or something, right? But it, that's that's not getting the most out of the exercise. It has to be like slow, controlled. Okay, fight against the resistance. Right, what the hardest point is here, when this band is at its fullest and this foot leaves the ground, it's just what it's going to want to come in, and that's why you want to do this. Okay, what it's not that it won't work the muscle it does, but I want you to try and slow it down a wee bit. Right, like that. Just try and slow it down. Keep a minimum, a minimum gap between your feet at all times, and you'll feel it just absolutely fry this area in there, okay? So that's what to do with the band work. Slow it down, pay more attention to the point of when the tension is at its most, release it slowly again, don't let it snap back. Okay, thank you, hope that helps. Whoa.